Good morning, folks. You're looking at Venus and the crescent moon from last night. The Mobile Observatory is in Southern California, and the weather is beautiful. Can't say the same for areas a bit east of here. The sun woke up over the last 24 hours, and we're going to take a look at that, along with the usual roundup and a video we posted last night that is a must-watch for those into the electrical nature of the universe, the sun, and Earth in general. Er Comte de Zona, here comes the sun. A significant uptick in solar flare activity has come as a result of a new sunspot group cresting onto the disk. Now we don't see much in the way of ejecta, not much in the way of CMEs, but the activity has gone from solar flaring flatline, barely able to break up out of B range, to hitting the C flare ceiling and breaking up into M class range. We did take a minor radio blackout this morning on the energetic wave from the largest flare of this sequence. The exiting sunspot group stayed separated and calm, while we're beginning to set eyes on the incoming umbras. Multiple. The leader has good size. We'll see if she goes quiet when facing Earth. Three days of solar wind. That was definitely a corona hole stream we had yesterday. Density bulge, followed by a rampant speed up over 500 kilometers per second, and plasma temperatures soaring from the low thousands Kelvin to nearly 100,000. Our shield became unstable for a good bit yesterday, but held together without a storm event. This stream may continue or intensify with multiple coronal holes in play. Got a dark little patch coming in behind the main opening up north as well. Got a touch of force to it actually. Top quake of the day was downgraded in Papua New Guinea here. Another unusual rumble in the western United States. And the Greenland Sea felt left out so it chalked another one up as well. Top article today is about Vesta, once believed to be unable to have water, we now see the evidence all over it. Point goes to the star water hypotheses. And I mentioned it before, folks check out last night's video. It is only a brief introduction to Michael Steinbacher and his work, but the material is fascinating. He is utterly available to go out with you and see these wonders in person. He's a great guy and a lot of fun to be around in general. Link to the video is below. Cyclone in the South Pacific intensified with the flares in Uyen fashion. Over to the northeast of that we see a convergence in the desert bringing absurdly cold weather in as the air trickles down from the north. Let's show how this perfect storm of cold came together as a jet stream dip is allowing cooler air to funnel in at higher atmospheric levels. And jumping even higher to the polar vortex, you can see the Arctic feeding the area above the United States, making a trifecta of cold factors for New Mexico and the surrounding areas. Eyes open there. It's a bit of a lighter day in Europe. A Mediterranean low will churn things a bit there, but our top focus tonight is the convergence cutting atop Iceland. The worst weather for the area should be there this evening. Down under, that low in the northeast still remains. Got a noticeable convergence across the north and the east. And down below that, you see a weaker convergence coming together over Tasmania. Storms have been brutal in the north the last day or so, so any weather shares out of this area are very much appreciated. You're seeing the current conditions followed by shots of our star to close. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, 3.25 on the west coast. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.